so it's going to work. I think it's going to because the simple reason I moved that further over that way. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. All right, here we go back again with another live stream. Is the camera up there? Camera's there, isn't it? See the camera? I keep wanting to look in that dot up there. I should be looking up there. Right, so here we go back again with another live stream. I don't, bollocks, that's not going to work. I don't know. The problem is, the problem is that I can't see any comments at the moment. So I'm going to have to try and find a way to see some comments on the chat. It's, well, what's this here? Live chat, all messages are visible. Oh, there we go. Let's see it there now. Nathan Thomas, good afternoon. Michael Lee says 3 1. Conrad Tank, afternoon. Hello, Conrad. Comments do disappear quickly, so I've got to be careful and try and read more as quick as possible. 21 people on the live stream, nine likes already, much appreciated. Got this match at Southampton versus Sunderland. And I'm having to use a different device today for the live stream. Seems quite good. Hopefully, it is quite good. Team news, as you can see in the background, Patterson, all change again. I'm, not, I'm a bit disappointed with one or two things, but never mind. Patterson, Hume, Yelder, Ballard, Sleet. I don't really know what the formation is as yet. Neil, Job, Muddle. It's a Mundell, you teddy. I keep on saying Muddle, I don't know why. I'm in a bit of a muddle sometimes. Hello, Nathan Thomas. Ah, it's on there now. Right. Yes. Thomas, Lissell, shite lineup. Nathan Thomas, this is his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday yesterday, 27 year old. David Walker, hi, Terry Shock on team selection. What's the lineup? I know it's not good, is it? So we got Patterson, Yelder, Ballard, Sealed, You, Neil Job, Mundo, Rig. I'm happy Rig starting. Bar, Burst door, Burst door, not for me, I'm afraid. We shouldn't have Burst door on the side. I'm, unfortunately, it's just my opinion. He's not going to be our player next season. So why are we giving Burst door game time? Doesn't say much for the likes of Hamia and Rushin. Subs, we've got Bishop, Pembele, Lewis, Hamia, Rushin, Ayush, Lavery, Jones, Equa, Styles. As you can see, it's a very weak bench as well. Three o'clock kickoff. Weak bench. Shall I say? Teams are warming up. Wow, shit line up. Best door. Not for me. We got Bansho, my Terry. Fucking hell, best door. I know. I hope he scores, but why play someone on loan this time of the season? You never know until you try it. I, I get that. I get that. I, I see where you're coming from. Today we're going to crap off nice kind of mad, nice kind of madri. Rushi must be really pissed off, I know. John Ruddick, team selection, Dodds, no idea. Absolutely clueless, mate. Barstow, for me, doesn't start in the month of Sundays. I'm sorry. Rushin's our player. Barstow's not. What we're doing, playing him. But it is what it is. Madri, quick one. John Ruddick, have you had any, any words with Speakman lately? Well, 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 I can see two magpies. One for sorrow, two for joy. Is that going to happen? We never know. We never know, do we? I want to try and find out what is the football scores on the doors already. But yeah, but on the live chat. Andrew Simkus, member of the channel. This could be a long afternoon. It could be. L12 Bong, how are you, mate? You're doing, you're doing Paul. How are you, mate? You're doing Paul. Don't understand that. Anyway, stupid dogs locked itself in the bathroom. Oh, wait, get out. Anyway, right, so. Lewis, can't believe 
I know a deal isn't starting. I know I thought he would as well. I would have a deal over bar. Pete, are we being set up to fail on purpose? Our decline has been spectacular lately and baffling decisions by the club. Ipswich are flying like... I Ipswich winning again. Man you leading? Man you are leading? Someone says Ipswich are flying. Trying to find the scores on the doors are you? Let's see what the scores are. <coughs> I think it might be easier just to do that. Might be easier just doing that. Oh, for God's sake. Keith Moore. Goal. Wow. Keith Moore. Six goal. It's such a flying. Doug B. Corby. Bar burst or talk about weak up front. Job. Track the ball. Goal. His sixth. Keith Moore scored. It's such a winning. Moore scored. I know. He wanted a canny bit of cash, didn't he? And he's getting it at Ipswich. And, and well done to the lad. <clears throat> see if we can get championship up like we're saying Ipswich are leading 1-0 in 91 minutes and they scored on 79 it looks as if Ipswich are going to get promoted they're on, they're on, on, on promotion online for promotion John Ruddick said that Kate says, hi Terry, crap line up. The sooner we get a new manager in, the better it will be a hard game today. Now, what's all these rumours about KLD wanting to sell the club? About his mother being in financial difficulty? About having no money? About being in, I don't know, allegedly being in um, oh, administration in certain quarters. So has he got no money? Is he looking? People are saying out there that they're looking to sell the club to the the ground to the council they want to sell the ground to the council and they're going to sell and he wants to sell the club i don't know if any of that's true it's probably just people causing shite but there's eight minutes in that game ipswich eight minutes of stoppage time eight minutes hiya mac and cabby i might try and do a, a match a match review with mac and cabby at the end of the game you and playing gets booked suspended for two games then dodds will moan about all week when he could, he could have left him out. Beggars believe the lineup we could get beat 6 0 today could be, a, could be a thrashing. You know, if we get stuffed today, then I'm afraid, wow, this is going to be some people, some things need answering. Manuel de la Toro, hello Terry, nice seeing you. Have a great day. Best, best for my wife and me. Greetings from Mexico and Monterey, hello. Thank you, John Ruddick. You're like me. Should have bought the manager in now. We should have bought manager in now. Line up proof of poor recruitment. It is. It's, it's, it's very poor. We'll see how it goes between now. But not good at the moment, is it? <clears throat> but them two magpies are still kicking about. One for Sora, two for Joy. Never know. But yeah, it's not a good lineup, is it? Yeah, anybody else on the chat there? No. But I say it's still 1 0 to Ipswich with five minutes to go. No teams coming out just yet. Doug Bowie, um, Keith uh, Stuart Diggle, Christian Speakman, Keith Moore doesn't re represent value for money for Sunderland. I'm saving that copy for Pierce every time he scores. <laughs> exactly. Faz Rian, Oli Solskar for Sunderland, Trevor Davies probably. Being said earlier, mate, but Miller Scott Bips, which too old, and, too old and expensive to score for a team like us who cannot score pathetic. I know it is pathetic recruitment. Thomas need to win the day. Edward Little hope we beat Southampton. Get rid of the rule, poor run of form. It's Michael, by the way, mate Terry. Thank you, Michael. Martin Cabby, you're confident today, Terry lad. Of course not. That team we could get beat four, five, or six nil. But my heart obviously wants a victory and a draw. My head says we're going to get beat, I'm afraid. Cardiff, big miss. Should have been 1-1. One, one. Oh, should have been 1-1. One, one. There's four minutes still to go, though. Four minutes still to go. And we have also Matt and Cabby on there. How about Matt and Cabby? What's your score prediction, Matt and Cabby? Drone, I think Job needs dropping. He has no effect of the game. Well, they've dropped Equa. So there's a start. We've dropped Equa. Ah, 
Great to see Daniel Captain. Yes, no O9. Luke O9 suspended, isn't he? Luke O9 suspended. Mac and Carby says it's 1-1. One, one. Cardiff's equalised in the last three minutes. Well, well, that's put a Spanners in the works for, for, for Ipswich. Hasn't it? They're down to third place now. The drop below leads. The drop below leads. Ipswich fans must be gutted. They're out of the automatic promotion place. Ipswich are now out of the automatic promotion place. Yep, that's a shame, what a shame. I, prefer, I, I think I prefer to see Ipswich get promoted than Leeds this season, just my opinion. But I think Leeds could get promoted anyway in the playoffs, couldn't they? So two minutes to go. That's it, Ipswich have only got a draw. So my coupon today, I've got Derby, Barnsley, Bournemouth, Palace and Peterborough. Derby, Barnsley, Bournemouth, Palace and Peterborough is my coupon today. Let me know your thoughts on your coupons. Anybody got a coupon out there? Anybody got any score predictions? Hello, David Joblin. Hello, Mike Cassop from Australia. I'm going for 1-1. One, one. He's going for 1-1. One, one. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up if you're enjoying the stream. We'll try and get 50 likes before the game starts. We've got 34 minutes yet, 34 minutes yet. The people want new owners at the club or are you content with the championship? Do you think next season we're going to actually be in a relegation battle? Paul says, defence looking better today, so more chance of a clean sheet and nicking a nil-nil draw. There we go, chance of a nil-nil draw would be nice. I bet Cardiff fans are absolutely buzzing. That means I think Sunderland... At this moment in time, in the table of 11th, we're 11th in the table, we could actually drop, we could drop two more places today. I don't know who Watford would play, I don't know who Middlesbrough would play, but we could drop a couple of places. Now we're four points behind Cardiff, even Cardiff are four points above Sunderland now. Terrible. So I think it's finished. Is it finished to Cardiff? Still 1-1. One, one. Must be almost over. <clears throat> Thomas is going for a 1-0 win. Lewis, Thomas says, you can tell the season that there has been a big difference between us, the Premier League and the Championship. There's a big difference. Lewis says, I think it depends on how we spend money on Jack Clark. It does, yes. I'm going for a 1-0 win, says Thomas. David Walker, Speakman, and the model need to get out of the club. Bart to score a 1-0 victory. Well, that'll be a surprising but bomb. Gordon, Gordon Manning, afternoon, Terry, mate. I'm going for a 2-1 win to Southampton. Roy McAlpine, hi, Terry, not confident at all. Richard Anderson, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't honk. We have, we'll score today. If Clark goes we next season, we're, we're, we're screwed next season. Says we're screwed next season. We've got um, Faze Rain says, but that William Donald. Hi, old Toby from Sydney, Australia. What's your score prediction, mate? I'm not going to give one today because I think we're going to get stuffed. I don't like predicting defeats. Susan says Middlesbrough playing QPR. Well, I think Middlesbrough big QPR. They'll probably go above Sunderland. Peter says, would you have Russian and Rig up front, Terry? Yes, at least Equa's dropped. Need some bite in midfield. Can't a more rear ball type midfield if we do. But I don't think we're going to buy that type of play at the moment. And we got Keith Hutton says, hi, Keith Hutton watching from South Africa. Tremendous. What's the weather like over there? Pete Stephen Grimes says, played better against Leicester. I reckon 1-0 win. Good. Was a decent performance. I think a deal sort of, for me, earned the right to start with that performance the other day. I've just read my tea leaves. 2-2 two, two, says it, Whittaker. 2's a peach. Harley Jones, I tell you, SFC. 
One nil win, a great show, mate. Thank you. And Sean says hi, Terry. Well, there we have it. Tremendous. And I think there is the Ipswich game still going on. 2-1 to the lads. 2-1 to Cardiff. Cardiff took the lead again. Wow, Cardiff turned it around. That's a massive blow for Ipswich. Wow. What the hell? A massive, massive blow for Ipswich. Manchester United using 4-2-4-0 formation. Jack Reed, how are the lads? Well, Ipswich fans must be absolutely gooded. I think Cardiff have done that before. They've scored two goals in stoppage time. Imagine Sunderland doing that, scoring two goals in stoppage time. You couldn't imagine that, could you, at all? But two goals in stoppage time. Well done, Cardiff. Keep splashing the thumbs up, please. Smashing the thumbs up. Watching from Barcelona. It's slanging it down. Can't see us get anything today. 1 0 win. Weather is no win. 28 degrees. Sunny, he says. Oh, South Africa. Nice one. 3 0 to the Saints. Have you some have some making up to do? Happy to see if Switch dropping points. So it looks as if. Yeah, it does. It looks as if they've lost. Give Terry some subs. Thank you very much. If anybody out there hasn't subscribed to the channel so far, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Much appreciated. Give us a thumbs up at 50 likes and also subscribe. Much appreciated. I'm a Bristol City fan, says Sean. Nice one, Sean. How are Bristol doing today? Who are they playing? What's the score going to be, Sean? Right, we got Michael Stubbs. Why do you always wear a hat? Because it's cold, mate. Michael Stubbs, Terry William Donald. Do you think the fantasy football? Do you do the fantasy football league? Not this season. Who is your favourite SFC player of all time, Terry? Oh, it's Paul. That's so difficult at this moment in time. I've got lots of old favourites from the olden days. I, you know, favourites from way back in the seventies and eighties. Through different eras, I could do what I could do a video on different eras, couldn't I? They got. Thane, I alright Thane mate, Jack, glad to see Riggs starting, Cardiff scored again, final score now, 2-1 to Cardiff, Cardiff, a, a tremendous turning that around, Cardiff, well done Cardiff City, yellow and white, 105, what's Wincy up the day, Wincy would probably be watching in either his shed or his back garden, Unless he's getting a tattoo done. He did see he was doing a tattoo one weekend. Beep says formation 4141, but I couldn't imagine it. William Donald's Carlos late winner, 90 plus 10, bloody hell. Alan Pitt, hopefully welcome Pompey back to the championship. I think they will. Sean tomorrow, Swansea at home, 2 1 for the city. Oh, nice one. Kingfisher, good luck. Um, smash the like button. How are you, the lads? Yes, keep smashing the thumbs up, please. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Much appreciated if you're enjoying the content right now. Blaviya. Nah. So there we have it, 101. The team section today is absolutely pathetic, I agree. Barring Job start over Adush and Burst over Rushen, I'm absolutely feeling the worst. I'm the same, I feel I, I'm dreading today. Do you ever watch along for Wincy's? We do do it every now and again, but you know, Wincy's a family man. We both are, so we spend some weekends obviously apart, but we do watch the games in our own houses. Do you ever watch alongs from Wincy's Bar and Grill? I do that one sometimes. We, special occasions we get together for Wincy's Bar and Grill. Paul Freeman, that would be a good video to do. Joe Bolton for me. Nice one, Joe Bolton. That's a canny, canny while ago. That one, mate. Ah, Joe Bolton. So there we go. Doug B, how are you? Get early subs on. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So, like I said before, I've got a coupon on today. I've got Derby, Barnsley, Bournemouth, Palace and Berra. And I've got the same again at work, but with Wimbledon. Cardiff scored 95, 90 plus 10. 2-1 against Sipswich, full-time Stevie G. Unbelievable results, isn't it? What a turnaround. Couldn't imagine it. 
Man, you're one today as well. Thane, it's scary. Well, it was a whirlwind anyway. It, it's also scary that Ballard is our oldest player today at the age of 24. Apparently, we don't need experience. Thane will note the day. We'll note the day exactly if we need experience or not. Sean, I think everything to do with Sunderland and about Sunderland. I, I like everything to do with Sunderland and about Sunderland, but I've never been to Tyne away before. All oh, right, Sean. Get yourself up one time for the away match. Bristol City at home. Peter Mandy. Hello, Peter. I hope you and your family are well, mate. Winning Donald. If Clark leaves next season and if we get 20 million, I would I would sign Oscar Bob. <coughs> Good shout. Stevie G, bring the mighty Kano. Yeah, bring on the mighty Kano. Billy says, Southampton 4, Sunderland 1. We need another nine more likes, please. Much appreciate. Nine more likes. Get 100 on the channel. Uh, 50 likes, sorry, nine more likes and 50 likes, much appreciated. Oh. Let's see what's done on this one. Uh. Yeah, we've got half an hour of the match starts, 101 likes so far. So, yes, I is fearing the worst today. I was all fearing the worst today. Then we do need a manager now because I'm still worried we'll get dragged into relegation dogfight and can't score, can't defend, and how are we going to win games of football? Fair comment. I think we've got enough points in the bag, but if other teams start winning around the bottom, we'll start be getting dragged in like you say. How do you describe Bristol City, Terry? Oh, I don't know. I would say an average championship side. There we go. That's about... First thing that's coming to me head, an average championship side. They seem to do okay. They don't seem to get in the relegation dogfight. They don't seem to get promoted in the playoffs. So for me, it's like a, an average championship side. And at the moment, that's what Sunderland is. Peter Mandy says, got a feeling we'll win the day. Peter, nice one. Good price about as well. Stevie G, hi, tell. Wish us lot again. Blackburn today. The Green Army, Plymouth. Don't want to get into relegation. How many points are you off the relegation, Stevie G? How many points? And good luck. Steel, Mick D. Job again, no Anush, no Russian. Dodds and Speakman just taking the piss now. The fans are going to start to get, you know, disillusioned with the people in charge big time. Let's have a look. Team. Manon's playing for Southampton. Armstrong's there. Smallbone. The other Armstrong, Adams and Brooks. 4-3-3. Southampton playing 4-3-3. Southampton are playing 4-3-3. Yep, they go on. Southampton are going 4-3-3. Thanks for the 50 likes. Bansholm, 7-0 Southampton. Four own goals by a burst door. Ron, Ron Ronald Sinclair, we may we may well get back pay, we may well get pay back, but I'd be happy with the draw. Yeah, say so, Mayor Billy, do you think the teams that go up this season will survive? It's a struggle, isn't it? Leicester might. That's probably the only one. William Donald's Terry, do you think Sunderland will stay up if we get if if we get relegated, will we get back up straight away or will be in the in League One for another five seasons? And this current ownership, I don't know. I just don't know where we're going with it at the moment. Steele, Leicester, yes. Billy, the rest, no. I agree. Thane Dodds is Speakman's best mate. Why else do you think Dodds hates it when journalists question Job's playing time? I know, it is. He is. At the moment, the club's, the club's a bit of a dictatorship at the moment. Why not two up front? I don't know. Adam Davey, hey Terry, come on. Sunderland and Blackburn. My prediction 1-1. One, one. Mason Burstow makes Josie out the door look like Didier Drogba. Drogba. Yeah, he's not... Yeah, I know, he's a young lad. Look at him. I don't hate the lad. I wish him all the best in the future, Mason Burstow. I just don't think he should be playing today. I think he should be sent back to, to Chelsea to get on with his career and his life. And like I, said, I wish him all the best. But for me, he's just not good enough. And we need better. If he goes and scores a hat-trick today and proves me wrong, then good luck to the lad. Conrad Tank. Leeds could stay up, 
new rich American. Oh, right, okay, and fair enough, Conrad. It probably could do. Paul, seriously, we've got no. We we not got anyone better in the under twenty threes than Burstow. We've got Rushen. Why doesn't Rushen start? John Ruddick need to clean this lot out. Bring a manager in and let him have his own staff and coach and get rid of Dodds, Proctor, and the rest. Yes, I'm totally, I'm totally up for that. I'd be happy to start a complete afresh. Get rid of the whole lot. Get rid of Speakman. Get rid of, get rid of them all. KLD has money to spend and he wants to get a bit wise and get some better, some better advisors. Get rid of the lot and start investing some money in the club. Simple as. Lost for words, Terry. I know. Stevie G. Nothing against Bert Burstow says Thane. Burstow as a human, but as an average League One striker, top end League Two striker. I agree with that. Stevie G. Two points separating the teams from 15th to the drop zone. Very tight, yes. Lost for words says Liz Cooper. Sean McDougall. I don't understand why Sunderland got rid of Tony Mowbray because he wasn't agreeing with the model, so they just got rid of him, sacked him, because that's the way the rule. Ronald says, I suffer with dyslexia myself. I'm like you when reading. It's okay, Terry, mate. I know, Ronald, I, I, I see words that are not even there, but end of the day, it is what it is. I, I'm not bothered. It, it is what it is. Then I, it's time for change. Not going anywhere under this lot. Ken Hutton, it's time to consolidate. Why panic every time we lose? Keith, I mean, Keith Hutton, well, we've lost five in a row, Keith. Hopefully, you know, we'll see what happens today, Keith. Rush is not physically enough for me in the championship. No way he can play to get a goal and act as a relay. Act as a relay, says Etienne Le Maire. Steve McDee. Anyone else, anyone sick of this football episode with Keane and Oil Sinclair? Oil and Ollie, since names have been floated. I love Roy Keane for me is there for the. To make the bookies money. Roy Keane is there to make bookies money. There's no way Roy Keane's coming to this club under this current ownership. You know, it's not happening, simple as. If he wanted to come back into management, he'd have getting back in by now with a club who would let him have a free reign, let him have a free run. There's no way Roy Keane's gonna be out of the out of management all this time. And, and every time Sunderland have need a new manager. The book is install them as favourites because they know people like, you know, people that are trying to prey on. The book is trying to prey on vulnerable people who want Roy Keane back. So they'll put money on Roy Keane. They'll install them as favourite. Everyone will go, oh, Roy Keane's coming back. They'll put money on Roy Keane. The book is will rake it in. And there was never a chance of Roy Keane coming back. That is my personal opinion. Bookmakers are not very nice. Russian wouldn't get being perfect today. Russian would have been perfect today. Someone to constantly press Southampton and play out of the back. Does Dodds not watch opposition, opposition teams? Billy says Kevin Phillips. Clearly Dodds doesn't. John Ludwig. People will wait and see what happens before they buy season tickets. So this lot must do something quickly. I agree. They probably they must do, wasn't it? Definitely. Right, there we go. Let's have a look at this. 169. Doug B. Kano would not come back with, without control. I agree. What is your favourite manager, Terry? Who, what is your favourite manager? There's many a manager I'd take at this moment in time. But Graham Potter I would have in. But again, they probably won't come under this under this sort of scenario the way it is at the moment. But we'll see. 140 on the live stream. <laughs> oh man typical never mind 137 on the channel 32 62 likes The ground is starting to fill up down at St. Mary's. The ground is starting to fill up. Hello, Myers. 
Zafisco, no way Kane will come back. Speak with and control. No one thing. I know I sound defeatist, but I'm just sick of this club standards just going backwards all the time. Just want someone to shout out. Again, I'm just sick of going into every game expecting defeat. I know it's not good, is it? It's not good at the moment. Definitely not good. I'm hoping... You've got to go into it and, and, and kind of hope that we can get some sort of result today, but I'm, like, I'm not confident one iota. Not confident one iota. But anyway, you're me Jeffrey Stanley. You let me know the scores and the doors and other games around the country as I come in, please. Be much appreciated. Do, 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 do. Fucking noise. Never mind. Right. As I said before, let's get the game ready to rumble on the game. We've got 148 on the live stream, 68 likes, 148 on the live stream, 68 likes. John Ruddick says, no manager with any substance will work under this model. Steel Nick, I agree, Thane. I am just numb this season and don't care exactly. And we've got Roy. What am I drinking, Roy? To numb the pain. A nice Madrid to numb the pain. Hello, Jeff Whittle. Whittle. Hello. Lol, Rory. Thane. Hope and pray it's not. Yeah, exactly, Thane. Thank you very much. And we got Etier says, Eric Roy making a hell of a job with Briest at the moment in France. Second of League One, of course. No way would he leave. They will probably qualify for the Champions League. I exactly. So Frisco, team selection proves a full squad is poor. Speakman has ruined it and filled it with kids with no. We aren't breaking into the teams. We're going nowhere. Alex Staple, hi Terry. Looks as if everyone's not happy with Speakman at the moment. Everybody isn't happy with Speakman at the moment. And fair, I'm not bothered, fair enough. Get the old stick out. Ready to watch the match. Ready to watch the match and commentate. Do the old commentary. It's a weak bench, I agree. I think it's a weak bench too. Average squad of 22.6, even with Ajax, we know they are young players, average of 23 tells you everything. Seventy-three likes on the channel. <clears throat> Conic G, how are we, the lads? Thane, the Keith Hutton, a weak bench. We stuffed the Saints five 0 with the same squad. Injuries happened to all sides. Yeah, fair enough. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, that's not helpful. Sorry. <laughs> Fix the mess. Right. The managers. Uh, who's that? I get a bit of that age. Never mind anyway. Back on the live chat, what have we got? We've got uh, Graham, Graham Walker. Poor team. Poor in there. Who? Team named again. Poor, poor, poor team named again. This game. The Tony Bone Show. Gannon, the game's day. Sean, you got 74 likes. Cheers, 78 likes. Keep smashing them thumbs up. Rob Stoko says 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Love the confidence. I do. I do love that bit of confidence. And we'll do the stream. Then we're going to gonna go now. Enjoy. Enjoy, mate. Right, catch, 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 catch it anyway. Let's enjoy. Let's hope we can do the business today. Jeff Wickle says, Robert, Tony Bourne show, no Adele in the starting line. 
I think he deserves it. Exactly, I think he deserves it. Jeff Bladden probably is be six defeats in a row today. Not looking good, is it? Connie G, hopefully we get at least a draw. Jamie Appleby, we sacked the wrong person. Mowbray should have stayed and Speakman should have been sacked spot on. Absolutely spot on. Couldn't have said it better myself. Should have stayed and Speakman should have gone. It's on the end of your stick, Vic. I can easily do that. Robert, who is going to score two for us. Good luck, Mackens. Thank you, Andy. Doug B, abandoning us, saying he's going to watch the game and probably drown his sorrows with a couple of beverages, I would have thought. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Not sure at all. There's the Sunderland fans there. A lot of Sunderland fans down like usual. Down to the match today. A couple of thousand down there. Long, long journey. They're probably the second. I take it it's the second longest journey in the championship behind Plymouth. If I think at the top of my head. Guys, it absolutely watched. Has anybody watched the young youngins play? Hamir is always getting sick. Stick, sick. Stick for lack of effort and movement. Please do not start. And Connie G, they are waiting payback since our win. Yeah, that's what we'll see. We'll see. But they'll be wanting a victory today. But wouldn't it be just like Sunderland to get there and get a victory? Anywho, the shock 3-1, 3-0 win. A shock 3-0 win. I'll take it. I'll toast to that. I'll toast to that. 139 on the live stream. Smash the thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. Be much appreciated. Southampton versus Sunderland. Did you see? Didn't see. Didn't see you as a Florida State. I got given. I got two of these given from a good subscriber from Florida. A Sunderland fan in Florida wanted to send us a couple of these that he got. So I got a couple of those. Absolutely fantastic tops. Kept us nice and warm. So thank you again, Florida Mackham. Much appreciated. Tremendous. 17 to 2 for the lads to win on Sky Bet. What a price. Drinking a bit of Madri. And I'll pop down and get another one any second now. Come on, Sunderland from a Rangers fan. Thank you, Rory. Much appreciated. Hello, Satch. Didn't see us in a Florida fan. Andy Hunter said 3 0. And we got Sean says, My club ownership sacked Nigel Peace, and I felt frustrated. Thank you, Rory. Right, there we have the Sunderland fans there waiting. Good stuff. A lot of Sunderland fans. Neil Warnick steps down as Aberdeen manager. Neil Warnick stepped down as Aberdeen's interim manager. Mark Nesbitt, greetings from Kelso. Hello, Kelso. Guys, at least with Sealt at the back, we have two big lads. They've got to be full of metal today, haven't they? They've got to be on the boat today. Right, five more likes. Smash the likes up, 131. Five more likes, we much appreciated. it. There's a Southampton fan dancing. Was that a Southampton fan dancing in the crowd there? Getting a full house now. Is the game on telly, Sean? It's not on any telly I know. But there's means and ways, means and ways. There's a big flag coming out. Gaz says, ha ha. A big, like, giving a bit of the robot, only the Southampton fan. A bit of the old robot y. Ah, uh, mid zoo, I cannot stand Stella. There's something, thank you for 100 likes. Thanks for the 100 likes. There's something about Stella I just don't like. So don't forget, you can buy a Super Chat Super Stickers. You can also become a member of the channel if you want to. And I, I will, before the season's up, do a competition for the members, as I do anyway with the normal subscribers. Guys, of course, it's not on any telly. We know what lol, Gaz says. Doug B, if I was, if I was you, I'd bring four or five cans of beer. But I'm going to have one, 
and then another one right now. So back in a touch. I'll go and get another one. Imagine the day if we won 5 0. <laughs> anyway, I need people to let me know the scores today. Keep me updated on the scores for Derby away. Barnsley at home, Bournemouth at home, Palace at home, Peterborough away. There are my five on my coupon. Derby, Barnsley, Bournemouth, Palace, Peterborough. I won't be able to see any of the scores today as my devices are taken up. So let me know. You're my Jeffrey Stellens. I'll show you my coupons I've got on. This is my coupon that we've got on today. That's our coupons today. Derby, Barnsley, Bournemouth, Palace, Peterborough. Derby, Barnsley, Bournemouth, Palace, Wimbledon and Peterborough. There are my coupons today. Probably going to come nowhere. Only a couple of quid. Not the exciting. Right, back in, back in a touch. Bit of chocolate. Is that a new member on the channel? Justin Sunderland. Yes, my last name. Hence, I have supported Sunderland all my life from Australia. Been my life from Australia. Been watching you for a while and thought I'd give it back a little. Thank you very much, Justin Sunderland. Much appreciated. New member of the channel. Justin Sunderland, thank you. Jeff Wilkie, also a member of the channel. Hello. Hope you will. I love a bit of fruit and nut. Look at that. Tremendous. I'm pretty dog. Right, SFC Dreamers, disappointed Bruce not getting a start. This is backup plan, but I decided to move away instead. Maureen says. Why didn't Speakman not get in? The manager right away once Mowbray got sat. He had no plan at all, did he? Etienne Le Maire, they were an Australian cycle rider called Sunderland related. Me and Masters are bringing the dog, please. Ah, it's downstairs now. Dog's not allowed in the bedroom. Justin Sunderland, honestly, I would just be happy if we can score a goal today and build from there. Fair enough. DJ Dave. Hi, Terry. 
Let's hope for a solid performance today. Get a positive result. I hope so. Come my tank, yeah. The dog needs need dog is a good omen. Well we'll see. Hmm. Love you. My favourite. Teams are out. Teams are out. Kirk. How do people? How will tell you win the deer? We'll be a surprise. 4141 formation, son. 4141. We're going for a draw. Son, they're going for a draw today. What time is it? SFC Dreamers says missing with formations, always disaster, Sean. How do you stream? Just do it on my YouTube channel. Mad for the Madri. Yep. Yeah. 3-0 win to Sunderland, says Jeff. Kirk. Job on the wing, not sure about that. I think he's better playing in central. Does that mean Riggs in the middle? Mad for Mad Rocks. <laughs> I don't think so. Right, there's Dodds sitting down. Sunderland in the uh, yellow lime away kit, the third kit. A big huddle from Southampton. Job is better off the bench, says Justin Sunderland. I agree with that. 104 likes. 162 on the live stream. Southampton about to get the game underway. Southampton about to get the game underway. Did you want to go to the game today, Terry says, Sean? Well, not today, no. All the way down Southampton. And it's difficult to get tickets as well. But anyway, Southampton about to get the game underway. And the game's underway. Playing from right to left, in the middle of the park. Move the ball back in defence. Back to the keeper. A long ball fall for Southampton in the first minute of the match. Headed away by Sunderland. On the left-hand side. So which, which position is Chris Rigg playing today? Is he in the middle of the park or is he on the, on the right-hand side? There he is there. I'll see him. Has a distinctive style of running, Chris Rigg, doesn't he? Right, Southampton in defence. Down there, right hand side, going back towards the keeper. Turns with the ball, pardon me. Keeping the ball back to the keeper, Southampton. 164 in the live stream. So far, they're stuck in their own half. Now the keeper has the ball, will take his time. Burst still trying to close the keeper down. Long ball over halfway line. Pick up the pieces on the right-hand side. Blocked by a Sunderland player. Back on Southampton's half. And again, they go backwards. Oh, they give the ball away. Burstow's intercepted. Is that Joe but Burstow? Not sure on the penalty box. He shoots. What a waste. What a waste. Chris Rigg was free in the box. Was that greedy, greedy, greedy Burstow? He was free. Chris Rigg was free in the box. Terrible from Southampton. Burstow nicks the ball. Does really well. But there's Chris Rigg. Pass the ball, man, for God's sake. Chris Riggs not happy in the middle of the penalty box. It was neither a shot or a pass. Neither a shot or a pass. What an absolute waste. That says everything about Burstow for me. Absolute waste of time at this level, in my opinion. I'm sorry, just my opinion. Yelda wins the ball there as well, but Southampton now down our right-hand side on the edge of the penalty box being moved back. Helen says, Hardy says it was a clear penalty on Tuesday. Right, Southampton coming forward now. A burst door. What an absolute waste. Cleared away by Silt. Out the box. I think burst door completely froze there. He didn't know whether to shoot or pass. And it went nowhere. It was like half-hearted 
effort by Southampton. That was the kind of opportunity we needed to. Chris Rigg would have scored as well, I think. Sunderland win the ball back inside our own half. Thrown to Sunderland on our right-hand side. <clears throat> Hume with the throw in. Forward, out of play. Another throw into Sunderland. Hume again further forward towards the halfway line. <clears throat> oh, Southampton win the ball, driving forward. They're in the penalty box to shoot. It goes wide. Goal kick. How did they get the ball there? Brooks with the shot. Edge of the penalty box. He shoots and he drags it wide. Goal kick. Sunderland. Afternoon, Alan Smith. Right, Rig in the middle. Tries to win the ball. Why do I always wear a hat? I just like hats. It's comfortable. Comfortable hat. It's my thing. Everyone has the thing. It's my thing. I wear a hat all the time. Apart from bed, of course. Right, long ball forward. Comes all the, way, all the way through, back to the keeper for Southampton. Don't forget to keep you updated with the scores on the doors, please. The teams that I need to know about are Derby, Barnes, Barnsley, Bournemouth, Palace, Wimbledon, Peterborough. Oh, a long ball for Southampton. Southampton on the left-hand side. Get the ball. Hume is trying to defend it. Forcing the Southampton player to the left. He moves the ball back, though. Edge of the halfway line. Every single player in Sunderland's half at the moment. Sean wears hats too. Terry's hat is a trademark. It's his trademark. Thank you, Doug B. Right. Left-hand side. Oh, Sunderland get the ball. That's soft from Burstow. Soft from Burstow. Exactly, Rooster. Long ball in the penalty box. Wide by Southampton. Goal kick. Goal kick. 182 in the live stream. Smash the thumbs up if you're enjoying the commentary so far and subscribe to the channel. Please, if you are new to the channel, we much appreciate it. Subscribe on the road to 20,000 subscribers. We're on 18 and a half so far. Dodds out of his seat. Sunderland have the ball. Hume under pressure from two Southampton players. It's going to be a throw in to Southampton. Under pressure from two Southampton players straight away. At the moment, Southampton really going for it. Going to be a goal kick to Sunderland though. Good playing from Sealed. That was good from Sealed. Get the push of the ball out for a goal kick. I do like Sealed. I do like him. Now, if we keep a clean sheet today, which is a big, big ask, let me know. You out there, let me know. If we keep a clean sheet today, would you keep the two central defenders, Sealed and Ballard, for the next game? Or would you bring back Luke 09? For me, 1-0 Blackburn, thank you, Graham. You've got to keep, if it's a good game of football, you kind of change it around. Right, Black, Southampton's goalkeeper has the ball. Gets the ball through the middle. Good defender from Sunderland, but it's a foul. Ballard fouls his man. Blackburn 1, Plymouth 0. Need chance of a clean sheet, says Mick, Bunst Mick Bunston. Put 0-9 as central. Mid I, I agree, Justin Sunderland, I agree. Look, 0-9 is the defensive midfielder. Sunderland pushing Southampton back to the keeper again. The press is good there from Sunderland. And we win the ball back in the middle of the park. Sloppy from Southampton. And Sunderland driving forward. Rigging the penalty box. Oh, cleared away by Southampton. Always wanted 0-9 in midfield, says Doug B. Me too, that holding midfielder. Good play from Sunderland there. A nice line of three. A nice line of three. 0-9 is still banned next game. Okay, too much ban. Of course, 10 yellow cards, of course. Let's hope Rick scores Michael Taylor. Hopefully, controller Brex. Burstow has to be the laziest, unmotivated player going. Rushen would give so much better than Burstow, in my opinion. Right, Sunderland pressing Southampton. Southampton, though, inside their own half, going backwards. I don't know what size of a crowd there. Over 30,000 there, did you think? Or is there plenty of empty seats there? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, 
Oh, Salam to give the ball away again. Very sloppy back to their keeper, though. They're, they are sloppy at the back at the moment. So far, so good, Sunderland. Oh, Southampton now driving forward with a chance. They're breaking free. Poor ball all the way through to Patterson. Right, let me know. Yellow card is sealed. Why is sealed got a yellow card? He pulls his man back. He pulled his man back. Free kick. Free kick. The referee, little twat you are. The yellow card is sealed. He dragged his man back, apparently, the referee says. He wasn't even the last man. Right, so there's eight minutes gone on my stream. If anybody let me know, what is what is the, the, the live stream? What is the live stream? 200 out there. Let me know in the comments down below. What is the actual stream time? What time is it now? It's eight, eight and a half minutes gone so far. Eight and a half minutes gone so far. Not good for Seals pulling his man back. I'm disappointed in that. I thought he was better than that. He didn't have to do that either. Ball in the penalty box. Oh, it's 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil Southampton. That's it. 8-12. Southampton have scored. 1-0. Poor, poor, poor football. We are all over the place at the ja at the back. Let's watch it again. Free kick. In the box. What on earth was that? Job. For fuck's sake, man. Get the ball away. What was Job doing there in the penalty box? Let's watch it again. That is awful from Job. He heads the ball straight to the Southampton player. For fuck's sake, man. What the fuck were you doing? Shocking from Job. Absolutely shocking. He heads the ball from... He head the ball out of play behind you? Why is he heading the ball straight in the centre of the penalty area? An absolute disaster. He needs to be taken off. I'm sorry. I don't understand why he started in the first place. Job assist. That's one so far. Can Sunderland react? A mistake from Sealed and a mistake from Job. Let's write that down for the match review. Shot on that for the goal. Pathetic, that job. Right, Sunder coming forward now. We need to react. Need to react. It was going out. I know it was going out. We gifted them a goal. That's what you can't do away from home. Absolutely gifted them a goal. Come on, Palace. What is the score? It's 1 0. Palace 1 up. Good, thank you. Palace are 1 up. Got Palace on me coupon. One nil to Southampton. Norwich one up. Norwich leading one nil as well. It is. I know it's terrible. How was the camping, Terry? It was fun. I actually enjoyed it. There'll be more to come at some point in the future. Maybe it's one with Kano as well. Right, here's Sunderland now. Can we get a goal back? Job. Right, anyway, let's forget about it. It was pathetic. Let's get a goal. Sunderland driving forward on the left-hand side. Win the ball. Sunderland driving left-hand side. Now, touchline in the box. Sunderland comes across. Oh, cleared by Southampton. That was better play from Sunderland, though. Better play. Much better. But here comes Southampton now, right-hand side. Southampton coming forward. Oh, he beats his man easy. He beats Yeldon. No ends up. Is that Yelda back now defending well? It's a free kick to Sunderland. Free kick. Alan Walton says, Warnick coming in next week to the end of the season. 251 on the live stream. 123 likes. 
50 pence head job. She, exactly what um, Graham said. She let the ball go out. It was going out. Let it go out. So, do I get paid? No, because it wasn't an assist. It came off a Southampton head, then fell to another player. I think... I think it was Job got it into the box. Born with Mr. Penalty. Fucking useless bastards, yeah. Pardon me, French. Absolutely useless. Missing a penalty. Palace will one up anyway. That's always a good sign. Right. Southampton now. Ian Holiday would be ideal. Adventures of Dean Kane, member of the channel. Hello. Happy Mother's Day tomorrow. Right, Southampton keeping the ball, controlling the ball. Southampton with the ball. See, 13 minutes gone. 13 minutes gone. How many goals are they going to score today? How many goals are they going to score? Long ball forward in the penalty box. Cleared away by Southampton. Pardon me. Ken Dodd. What for nil, Coventry nil. Here comes Southampton. Southampton coming forward again. The Saints. Driving down the left hand side. Good passing. Nice one from the Saints. Ball in the box, Southampton. <coughs> so Matati gives Crystal Palace an early lead over Luton. All he had to do was duck. Dodds. Not happy. You picked the team, fucking Dodds. You picked the team. Justin Sunderland, how things have changed since the last time we... we I don't know exactly. We've got him free fall. And for me... Uh, I, I, get, I get angry. I'm not going to get angry. We need someone to manage this team. We do. Thursday the 14th of March is International Steak and BJ Day. Something to look forward to. I have no idea what a BJ is. Anyway, Southampton have the ball. Who pays 10 million? I don't know. Barnsley, you're getting paid. Lincoln, that's fucking shite. Piece of shit. Barnsley, you're fucking useless. Getting beat at home off Lincoln. I mean, where's Lincoln in the table? That coupon's gone anyway. Pardon me, French. I'm not going to say nice things if I don't like it. Anyway, long ball forward. They are zero heart and passion for some and says Fraser of his reign. Some have the ball in defence. As that was a team nobbles you in a barnsy getting beat up Lincoln Link is shite. Flipping hell. Anyway. Lots left, lots of time left, says Terry, says Conrad. I know, but it's not a good start, is it? It's shite in it. Anyway, sat up and coming forward. Back of their keeper now. Wednesday, only nine points behind you now, Terry. Got to play the soul yet. I know exactly. Your fans are a bit tripped like mugs leaving duds in charge into the season, Glenn. Hull 1 0. Hull beating Leicester 1 0. Well done, Hull. Leeds might go top eventually at some point. You never know. What a waste of time. Anyway, Southampton win the ball back, but it goes to, to Sunderland. Sunderland chipped the ball right hand side. Hume on now. He's Mundle. Down the right-hand side. Got three Southampton players on. Sunderland win. Sunderland win. A throw in on the edge of the penalty box. A throw under Sunderland in line with the penalty box. Mundell did well there. Well done, Mundell. Hume. Throw into Sunderland. Edge of the box. In the penalty box. Oh, nearly a flick on from... Was that Chris Rigg? No, it wasn't. It was... I don't know who that was actually. Anyway, back to the Southampton goalkeeper under pressure. Drops to Sunderland. It's foul. Referee says no foul. Yes, it is a foul. Referee says it is a foul. It's a free kick to Sunderland. Referee, well done. Free kick to Sunderland. Touch it again. Yeah, he dies in front of the play. He fouls him. Glenn Jones, I don't know why, burst those time. Free kick to Sunderland. An opportunity. We're a long way out yet, still, mind. Don't get too excited. But 236 on the live stream, 126, smash the thumbs up. Smash the old thumbs up. It's 1 0 at the moment. Comes to nothing. Absolutely waste of a free kick. What a waste of a free kick. 
Anyway, Southampton coming forward now on the right hand side. Keeping the ball. 233 on the live stream, 129. I'm going to a Bristol City game tomorrow at 1230. Dodds out, says Steve Martin. Dodds and Speakman out. Don't ask the one crew nil. Here comes Sardin again, but Sun and Silt gets there. 17 minutes gone. 18 minutes gone. 18 minutes gone. Left hand side, Sun coming forward. Ballard. At golf today at seven for one on a one on par. Robo of Leeds, good golfer. Sardin now a chance to make a 2 0. Oh, just wide. Corner ball. Peter Mandis is not over yet. Correct, Peter. Corner ball. Southampton were lining up there. Who's on the left-hand side? Two. Southampton players. Three. He tried to place it. He put his laces through. He might have scored. Armstrong tried to place it. On the bench, both of them, mate. High carb. Horsey. Corner ball, Southampton. Corner ball. We've not scored one free kick this season. It's terrible, the Tony Bones show. Terrible. Referee giving uh, Armstrong and Rig. Rig holding his own against Armstrong. He's pushing Rig though. Watch it again. Armstrong pushing Rig in the penalty box. Here comes the corner. I want Rig to do well today. Headed up in the air. What the fuck was. Chances now that was poor defender from Seals. Back in the box, Southampton shoot, it's blocked. Cleared away. Thorn to Sunderland. Norwich 2 up, I wish that was Barnsley. <laughs> 226 on the live stream, 134 live. Keep smashing the thumbs up, much appreciated. Smash the thumbs up. Burstow and all our strikers are on a hiding than nothing. The way we play. How many goals would Haaland have scored? Not many. Fair enough. Now it's 2-0. Watford won up against Coventry. Freaky to Sunderland. Seals fouled. Neil fouled. Freaky to Sunderland. Dreyfus out, 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 says the man of the world. Fair comment. Watford 1-0, says Paul Kelly. Yeah, Neil was fouled there. Freaky to Sunderland. Come on, Sunderland. I want to see Chris Rigg get a goal. The Rigster. Back to Patterson in goal. Patterson gets the ball away along. Well done, Patterson. Son of in the ball. Inside their half. Job. Sealed. Neil. Ballard. Lefty Yelder. Forward. Out of play. Son of throw in. You correct there, Steve Martin. Thorn to Sunderland. CJ is up. I've got a Newcastle fan on. Welcome to the channel, but behave. Patterson gets the ball away. Oh, that's a poor ball from Patterson. A chance now to make a 2 0 Southampton. He puts it over the top. That should have been 2 0. That was disastrous from Patterson. He passes the ball out straight to a Southampton player. What kind of pass was that? Bloody hell. Should have been 2 0. Armstrong absolutely makes a pig's ass of it. Absolutely shite from Armstrong. He ain't going fuck off. Still 1 0. Southampton. Terrible finishing from Southampton, but thank God for that because Patterson made an absolute pig's ass of that. CJ, I've watched you for a while, mate. Class channel. Thank you very much, CJ. Much appreciated. Carlisle, bloody hell, Carlisle won up. I do not believe it. Who were the playing? Who were Carlisle playing? Bottom of the table, Carlisle. Right. Southampton. Oh, inside the own penalty area. Coming forward now. Bit of space, bit of time. Hold the 1-0 against Leicester. We do know Robert. A good ball on the right-hand side. Southampton now coming in from the right. Penalty area. He's in the penalty box. Oh, my God. Cleared away. Falls again at Southampton. Free in the box. What's he going to do? Two Southern players get back. Edge of the box, chips the ball in, cleared away by Sunderland. An orthodox clearance. I don't know where the hell Joe Bellingham, but he's on the pitch on the left-hand side. Bar! 
gets the ball back, and even that, even the board thinks it's a load of shite. Even the board. I'll tell you what, we'll put the board on there, so you can see the team. That is the team. That is the team the deer. A Southampton corner. 248 in the live stream. The go for goal. A good defensive work from Silt. Let's watch it again. The great Benningham is abroad. Corner ball. Corner ball. Peter Manley, you're correct. Ian Holloway would have been better than Dodds. Very, very much so. 250 on the live stream. Mac Atkinson. Corner ball comes in. It drops to Sunderland, get the ball away, gets the ball away, Ballard. Look on the scores on the doors. It's 1-0 to Southampton. Gifted a goal from Job. Job gifts a goal. Absolutely no formation in shape, says Mick Buxton. I'm sure it was Mick Buxton, an ex-Sunderland head coach, manager. Advantages of Dean Cain, says Ian, says hi. Glenn Jones, we are way off this. Sitting far too behind the ball. Southampton now. It's Norwich 2-0. We don't know that. Southampton going back. That's the lineup. But not a team. Correct. Southampton now trying to get the ball back. We win the ball back. Inside their half. Coming forward. Ball forward. Blocked by Southampton. Intercepted by Chris Rigg, I think. Southampton have the ball was sealed. Here comes Southampton now, breaking free, coming forward. They go for goal. Oh, he stopped in his tracks. He stopped in his tracks. I agree with Adventures of Dean. Nice to see you're feeling well, Terry. I'm, I'm feeling okay. It was Mick Buxton. Mick Buxton on the channel. Ex Sunderland manager on the Tan channel. Didn't Mick Buxton used to walk his dog down the beach? Was that Mick Buxton? He was only interim, wasn't he? He was an interim manager. Or did he come in for a small period of time? Patterson goal kick, 2.51 on the live stream. Adventures of Dean, apologies, says Peter Manley. Patterson long ball forward. Out of play, Sullen throw in inside at one half. Well, the good news is, the good news is it's only 1-0 with 25 minutes gone. That's the good news, only 1-0. We did exactly the same against Leicester, 1-0 down, first 15 minutes. So it's one of the Watford as well, as we know that against Coventry. Sunderland now coming forward with Dan Neal. Turns. I don't know, Robert. It's the biggest mistake of the season. The biggest mistake of the season. Sheffield United 1-0 up against who? Who is Sheffield United playing? Who are they playing? Sheffield United? To be 1-0 up against? Who is Sheffield United playing? I forgetting. Who the plane though, Paul Kelly? I can't see. Oh, Bournemouth for fuck's sake. That's bollocks, isn't it? That coupon's fecked. That's Ray Mondo's choice. Man of the world, sack the board. Yeah, that coupon's gone. Pants day all round so far. Absolute pants day. Something to win. Second biggest mistake, get me to Pritchard. Sunderland going back to the keeper. <clears throat> Pritchard leaving and Clark now injured. KLD wants foreign, says Jeff. Right, Sunderland now on the ball, Mundle. Back to Hume. Ballard. Forward. Oh, lose the ball, win the ball back though. Nice play from Sunderland. Chris Rigg controls it. Sorry, turns. Right hand side, Mundle now. An opportunity for Sunderland. Ball in the penalty box, nobody there, Mundle man. There's nobody in the box, Mundle. Burstow can't get that far forward. Now they can bloody bar. We've got to hope Burst, we've got to hope he sells up, don't we, really? What a master stroke that was from Speakman letting Pritchard go. Southampton now. 
Give the ball a bit. Of, give the ball a bit of Sunderland. Sunderland on the ball. Bar loses the ball. This was a twenty five. This was a five year plan. That's year twenty plan. Mad mistake. At least we're not playing crap though. Well, I wouldn't say we're playing brilliant, but that's a good ball though. Four. We can. Chris Rigg just couldn't keep control of it. Back to their keeper. No. Southampton turn with the ball inside the own penalty box and driving forward now. When it's 1-0, we're in with a chance still. We're in with a chance. But Southampton now, left-hand side with Armstrong. Cuts inside. Good ball. Driving forward in the penalty box. Patterson gets there. <coughs> Pardon me. Good from Patterson. 1-0, 28 minutes gone. 268 in the live stream. 44, 144 likes. Smash the thumbs up, much appreciated. Sunderland, little rich boy's toy, says Anthony. Mundle. Throwing the Sunderland on the halfway line, or just before. Yume. I haven't seen anything good so far from the team, to be fair. We haven't created one chance. We've created nothing at this moment. Not one shot Sunderland have created. But a chance now coming forward. Bar on the left-hand side. Feeds the ball to Yelder. Yelder now in line with the penalty box. Goes back to Bar. Bar has the ball inside. Sunderland rig back to Job. He's Job now. What can he do? Chips the ball right. Is he onside though? Hume. Oh, passes the ball through. Chances. Hit the post. Sunderland still going, we shoot, it blocked again, an opportunity, it's the best part of the game so far from Sunderland, and we come again with Bar. come on lads, have a shot son, he shoots, oh he's lost the ball, he regains the ball, Sunderland come again, edge of the box, we hit the bar but it was never going to go in from that angle, 29 minutes gone, the first chance for Sunderland, 29 minutes gone, and Southampton defend the ball well. And Southampton now on the counter-attack. Good interception. That was from Ballard. Ballard saves the day. But they come again. He's offside. He's offside. Let's watch the replay. Do we hit the post with any chance? Who hit the post? Who was it? It was the burst door. Here we go again. Sunderland coming forward. Good chip over by Job. It drops to... Yeah, Bursto hits the, hits, the, hits the post, but it was never going to go in from that angle. Bursto post. It was never going to go in, but a good bit of play from some that, a good bit of play. Bit of, bit of, bit of sort of confidence there. Back to keeper. Southampton's keeper. Southampton on the right hand side coming forward now. Good bit of play Southampton now, but Sunderland will get back there, surely with Yelder. No, he gets the ball. Southampton have the ball. You have to. Right, so yellow card to Ballard. And Leicester have a penalty. Yellow card to Ballard. It's like Ballard fouls his man. Ballard fouls his man. The yellow card, yellow card, yellow card. So now both central defenders have yellow cards. Ballard and Sealt. Hull, one's a peach. Leicester have got a penalty. Norwich is three up. Yeah, Norwich are really going for it now, aren't they? Free kick to Southampton. An opportunity to make a 2-0. 33 minutes gone. 266 on the live stream. 170, 146 likes. Smash four more thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And give us a thumbs up. Here we go anyway. Free kick. Southampton free kick. Going to swing the ball in the penalty box. Chance. In the box. Saved by Pritchard. Saved by Pritchard.
We're going to get something of the ball again back inside the own half. 264. Thank you for the 150 likes. Much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Right, Southampton have the ball. Back to the keeper again. Playing the ball around at the back. We, we've hit the post, but it was never going to go in. We tried to we win the ball back again. That's good. Oh, the free gives a free kick. No, it's his play on. He's summoning now an opportunity coming forward. He shoots. It's a terrible shot. Who was that? Burst or again. Yeah, burst over the shot, but it was poor. I'd have a jaw right now. I'd take a jaw differently. Sure. I'd be happy with a jaw right now. 258 in the live stream. It's going to be a goal kick to Southampton. Goal kick. But this is only 1 0. That's. That's the saving grace at this moment in time. It's only 1 0. Long ball forward. Head down by Sunderland. Oh, we lose the ball in the middle of the park. Oh, well intercepted there by Sealed. That could have been disastrous. Out of play. It's going to be a throw to Southampton. An opportunity now to break down the left hand side. Another, another throw into Southampton. Another throw in. Armstrong. Dodds. Off his seat, not liking what he's seeing. Cutting inside, Southampton chipped the ball in the box. Paxton gets the ball. Douglas Bobbick says 1 1 at half time. Hope you're going to be correct here. It'll be nice to get a goal. Right, anyway, I'd say Chris Riggs score a goal would be great. Susan, we're not really creating anything, Susan, to be fair. Southampton are the better team. We're not not being outplayed by any by any shot, by any state of the imagination, but they are leading 1 0. A gift goal from Job. Could have been 0 0. Terrible defending from Job has given them a chance to on third are we in 13th place now? 13th place? Right, Sunderland now. Blocked again. Another freak, another throw into Sunderland on the right hand side. Southern to win. One nil Southampton still though. They win the ball back inside their own half, Southampton. The Saints have the ball coming forward, but go back to the keeper. He elects to go backwards. Southern with a high press. But they've opened up the play now, Southampton coming forward. Left hand side, fast at the poor ball. It's a poor ball from the Saints. It's going to be a Throw into Sunderland. 1 0. Yeah, it's been a liability, Jan Job. Uh, he, 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 get, he gets the game because it's, in his, it's probably in his contract. Probably in his contract. I would definitely have dropped Job over Equa, like. Anyway, Sunderland have the ball back inside the own penalty area. Not we lose the ball. They're coming forward now in the penalty box. It's going to be a penalty. He's going to give a penalty. He's give a penalty. I knew he'd give a penalty there. I knew he'd give a penalty. Chris Rigg gives away a penalty of all, all players. Let's watch it again. Southampton. Ah, oh, he guns in. He does go in pretty, pretty dodgy there. Let's watch it again. He doesn't get the ball. Doesn't get the ball. For me, it is a penalty. It is a penalty. Yeah, he gets him, brings him down. Penalty now. Chris Rigg goes in rash. That for me is definitely a penalty. Now it's going to be Armstrong versus Patterson. 36 minutes gone. Penalty. It's going to be 2-0 the way it's going, I think. Unless he can save it. Armstrong, the ex Geordie. Against Patterson. 2 0, 2 0. Always going to score that. Was always going to score that. Always going to score. 2 0. Southampton. That's game over. Game over, I'm afraid. There's no coming back from that with this side. Too easy. Too bad. Too bad mistakes. He was going nowhere down the left-hand side. 
Chris goes in and takes him down. He was we were never in danger of letting another goal in. He'll learn from that rig, but unfortunately, it is now game over. 60 feet in a row. 60 feet in a row, it looks like. Got knee backbone the team. Gift them two goals. Gifted win. There's no way back from this. This could be a route today. It could be a route now. <sighs> Going to be a long, long end of the season, isn't it? Dodd's not happy. Proctor to replace Dodds. Well, it's, it's what it is. 2-0. Here they come again. Something this could be a 5 0 revenge. Quick the win. Sudden get there for defenders. Oh, I'll tell you what. Charlton won, Carlisle won. Yes, that's who they're playing, Charlton. 264 in the live stream, 159 likes. 1 for 1, Coventry won. Always a game of two halves. So I, I, love your, I love your optimism, Susan. I do love your optimism. Anyway, Southampton with the ball again. We have imploded. It will take us four weeks to equalise. Anyway, Sunderland coming now. Got a break, a break from Sunderland. Nice chance, edge of the penalty box, Sunderland. Mundell in the box. Foul, no, no penalty. Sunderland now again, it's Job. Inside, Dan Neal, Dan Neal turns to the left. Yelde, Yelde now has Bart the left. Puts the ball in the box, Yelde. Headed, saved by the keeper. First shot on target for Sunderland. It was a Mundell header. First shot on target. Mundell header straight to the keeper. And that was 14 minutes to have a shot on target. Forty minutes. Patrick, you never know, mate. Southampton now. Gifted two goals. People are saying that Moby wasn't doing too good when he got sacked, but all managers go through dips in form, don't they? I don't think Moby would have lost six in a row. That's the thing. I don't think he would have lost, lost six in a row. Yeah, I totally agree. Welcome to my world, Terry. Andy says, bloody des depressing, mate. 268 in the live stream. Nigel Clough will be better than Dodds, I'm afraid. Anybody will be better than Dodds at this moment. Mowbray was doing okay with what he had. He was, yes. First time since 2006, says me and Master. First time. Sunderland coming forward. Left. Sunderland coming forward. Left hand side now. Sunderland enters the penalty box. Chance are you now. Bar in the box. He beats one man. Corner ball, Sunderland. Corner ball, Sunderland. We got to go back before half time. We've got a chance. It's corner ball to Sunderland. 41 minutes, 42 minutes gone. 42 minutes gone. Mundell's short. Playing the ball. Chris Rigg going to go for goal. That's awful. Dan Neal. Dan Neal, sorry. Dan Neal, that was awful. Moby was canny. 
<coughs> Nobody, I don't think anybody subs at half time, but he's Southampton come again. Southampton now, down the right hand side. Dodds has totally imploded with this team, hasn't he? Two eighty on the live stream. Norwich three up against Rotherham. Yeah. I agree with the whole chance for Southampton. Put it wide, they put it wide. I think it might have been offside. It might have been offside. He shoots. Is that a corner ball? the ball again in the last minute now oh last minute of the first half surely we'll beat QPR next week at home that's when we'll have to start worrying right halfway then Southampton a long ball forward oh a chance he's onside he's in the penalty box Saints cuts across he's offside he's offside he's offside he's offside thank god for that Mick Buxton is offside. We need some changes at half time. I mean, what do we do? <sighs> Norwich 4 0. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Right, Sunderland now. Chance. Coming forward. Been one minute to stop. Stop his time, I would have thought. Oh, we lose the ball again. But win the ball back on the halfway line. Chance now. Chance for Sunderland to drive forward. Mundell, right hand side. This is better from Sunderland. Come on, Mundell. Go in the water penalty area. Gets the ball across. It's cleared away. He's too keen to get the ball across too soon, Mundell. There's nobody there in the box. Nobody in the box. Here they come again. Oh, they lose the ball, the Saints. But then we give the ball back to them straight away. And now they've got up. Oh, it breaks free now for Southampton over the halfway line. Driving forward. Edge of the penalty box, a chance for Salam in the shoot. Straight to Pritchard. Pritchard, Patterson, man, we divvy. Straight to Patterson. I had Pritchard on my head there for some reason. Patterson makes the save, of course. Patterson makes the save. It's straight to the keeper, to be fair. It's easy save to make. I think that's going to be three minutes of stoppage time. Three minutes. We've got three minutes exactly of stoppage time. And Sunderland now on the halfway line. We haven't created any clear cut opportunities so far. We lose the ball too easily, brushed off the ball. Southampton coming forward over the halfway line. Oh, God. No. Oh. Halfway line. Back to the keeper, Southampton. Coming forward now. Chances and oh, they've got an opportunity now. So then to break free, but that's never going to get through. Back to the keeper, Patterson. Patterson gets the ball. <clears throat> if we lose next week against QBR, then it's going to be the worst defeated record for a while, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what it is. We've got to attack. Lucian should have been on after the second goal. Half time, nil nil QPR. Southern players are just, we're getting, we're getting that run all over here. Oh, breaks free. Southampton into the penalty box. Chance to make it three. He shoots. Keeper saves it. Easy for the keeper. Southern try to come quickly away. Forward. Neil. Rig. Halfway line, Neil. <clears throat> Job. Playing more of a central role there, Joby. More of a central role. Right, Mundell now. Right-hand side. Coming forward. Mundell, opportunity now. What can he do? 
gets it forward in the penalty box. Oh, it was a bad ball from whoever that was. But now they get the ball. No shots on. We got one shot on target. Mundo had a header. That was it. Hope so, BS. 273 on the live stream. 169 likes. <clears throat> get Neil Warnick into the end of the season. Why not? Anything can be better than what at the moment. Anything. We have now gone back up to 12th. We 12th. Oh, we were 12th on the table. That's half time. There we go, half time. Half time. 2 0 to Southampton. Trev says with Beale, the last six games. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. If Sputs and Maybe's in it, but we are at this moment in time. 2-0 down. Let's look at the scores on the doors around the around the teams tables. Fixtures. Right, Premier League right now. <clears throat> Bournemouth getting beat, Crystal Palace winning, and Fulham and Wolves are nil nil. Championship. Blackburn 1 nil, Hull 1 1, Norwich 4 nil, Sunderland getting beat, and Watford 1 1. <clears throat> League 1. Barnsley getting beat. Cambridge beating Northampton. Charlton won. Carlisle won. Bolton winning away. <clears throat> Oxford winning. Wickham winning. League 2. Grimsby winning. Yeah, MK Dons. Mansfield. I thought Mansfield would be winning that game. Nigel Clough's Mansfield winning. There we go. So it's it's getting beat two 0 at half time. We'll leave this on for a minute. I'll we'll get another can. Back in a minute. Talk, chat amongst yourselves.
to surrender your love.
give it all the time. Well, well, well. <clears throat> all else fails. Have another can of Madri. <laughs> 181 on the live stream, no, 217 on the live stream, 181 likes, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. <coughs> and we'll get this back on the, not, not out yet. We have nobody out, I don't believe anybody out there has any confidence in Sunderland actually getting back into this game that here we've gifted them two goals it's just the way it is there's no experience on the park we've drained the club of experience and this is what it's come to i'm afraid if we don't have a, a long hard look at ourselves in, in the mirror over the summer window we are going to be in free fall in the championship next season whether you like it or not, we're in free fall. If we don't invest in some quality players in the summer, I'm afraid it's looking down. You know, KLD could sell the club in the summer. But who wants to come in and buy a club? <clears throat> Let's wait and see. Crack on the can. Cheers, everybody. Have a nice, have a good, you know, apart from the football, have a good weekend. KLD's mum. Yeah, but KLD could sell the club and make some money for his mum, couldn't he? He could sell the club. Will Sartori, what will Sartori do? Apart from nothing. Would he sell the club? David Jones, no, no, I know you haven't mocked us. You're actually okay. Tune. We got a few emotional fans at the moment, understandable, but it's shit short. It is a shit short season. I don't know who was talking to there. Paul, board needs to sell someone who has big ambitions, not small ones, until the fate of our club, man of the world. They're queuing up to buy. They'll be queuing up to buy us. Bristonian Macam probably sell it to William Story. From Balamori. Let's have a serious owner. A serious owner of the club. That's what we need. Stevie D. Terry, if we had a defence on the beaches of Dunkirk, we'll all be speaking German by now, for fuck's sake. Hi, says Nick. Hello, Nick. Shit show. It is a shit show. Right, teams are coming out. Teams are coming out. <clears throat> I bet you, I bet you, Dodds has made no substitutions. What's the chances there's not one substitute being made at half time? But is there? Let's have a look. There's Dodds. We need owners like Coventry, says Mark. It will be toxic on Saturday. I bet KLD stays away. I bet you KLD stays away on Saturday. Nick, your name is pronounced Skipjack. Sick Mick Buxton. Bobby Shaftor, the next owner, says Steve. Andy, sack Mowbray when we're in the chance of the playoffs. Get bailing for unknown reason. And here we go. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yelder and Seal to make Titus Bramble look like John Terry. Here we go again. Terry, it's not Dodds, it's Speakman. To be fair, I'm sorry, but neither should be in charge of a club. Neither of them should be in charge of a club. We need a massive change. Six in a row defeats is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I do believe Tony Mowbray wouldn't let this happen. I do. Right, 242. Long ball forward, Sunderland. Headed down, out of play. Sunderland throw in. Can we really go for it? Let's see a bit of inspiration, a bit of passion, a bit of drive in the second half. What can we see? 
I don't want his son and heads to go down. Bill Brand, long cute today, Terry. Thank you very much. Would you appreciate? Never been called cute for a long time. I've been called sexy a few times, but not cute. <laughs> right. Long ball forward, right hand side, Sunderland now. Fouled. Gonna be a goal kick. No. Southampton get the ball. Coming away with the ball. Welcome to the Beanie Bloke. He still wants to buy the club, but I don't think we should let him buy the club. Get some of the owners instead. Right, long ball forward, Southampton. Oh, poor ball. Sun in the sept. Sun in now, a chance for rig. Oh, we lose the ball straight away. And here comes Southampton now on the counter attack. Coming forward, left hand side, Armstrong. Cleared away by Sunderland. Ballard to Neil. Neil. Neil, the captain today. Not looking good. Can we get two goals? Can this be the surprise of the season? Sunderland turning this around on its head from 2 0 down to 3 2 wins. 240 on the live stream, 193 likes. Smash the thumbs, let's get 200 likes. 200 likes. Sunderland inside the own half. What's happened there? <clears throat> Sunderland now right hand side, a chance coming forward. Good bit of play. Hume now gets the ball in the box, cleared away by Southampton. Cleared away by Southampton. Five more likes, please. Four more likes. Four more likes. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Subscribe. Here's Southampton now. Coming towards the halfway line. Forward with bodies. Sub, 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 says Susan Beaumont. Who would you take off, Susan? Who would you bring on? Drove off. Terry should stealth camp inside Southampton goal. Nobody will find you there. I like that one. That's a good one. I do like that one. The free kick to Southampton. Job off. Job off a Dillon. Get job off a Dillon. 47 minutes gone. 236. 200 likes. Thank you for the 200 likes. Sal says, Keyboard Warriors, there's some Newcastle fans on the channel, is there? I can't, I've never seen the comments on what I'm trying to comment here, I do apologise. Anyway, as long as they behave themselves, if I see any bad comments on the channel, I will block you. <clears throat> Southampton edge of the penalty box, cleared away by Sunderland, and the Sunderland player just falls over. He just falls over, and here's the Saints, edge of the box, in the box, chance for 3-0. Sunderland keep the ball. Thank you, Sean Mullen. As long as everybody behaves themselves, it's okay. Sunderland driving forward now. Left-hand side, it's Bart on the ball. Cuts inside, loses the ball. Jesus Christ, too easily lost the ball. Just brushed off the ball, a Sunderland player. That was just a piece of piss from Southampton to get that ball back there. Get the ball back, so easy there. Was that Bar? He just, just he's too weak. And Sunna give away a free kick. Sealed gives away a free kick. Just terrible that poor, wasn't it? They haven't said no. They haven't said out, oh, Terry. Some fans are just getting triggered. Okay, no bother. I haven't seen any bad comments, to be honest. I haven't seen any bad comments. I don't mind anybody coming on the channel, to be fair. Two and army on there. I don't mind anybody coming on the channel as long as they behave themselves. Now, see, I've seen no bad comments so far. We need to make some substitutions. This is what pisses me off about Dodds. Take off bar. Someone trying to win the ball back on inside their half. Edge of the penalty box. 256 on the live stream, 210 likes. Smash the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Subscribe to the channel. Suddenly win the ball back on the halfway line. <clears throat> Suddenly win the ball back on the halfway line. It's Job now coming forward on the halfway line. I 
Like I said before, there's many different teams, fans come on the page, and I don't mind anybody coming on the channel. As long as they behave themselves, I'm fine with that. Burstow has been absolutely non-existent today, which we knew he would be so far. Sun win the ball back on the halfway line, but let, give the ball away so easy. It's too easy for Southampton, too easy to win the ball back. We're so soft in the middle of the park, Sunderland. Here we go, Southampton. Edge of the box, Southampton. It's Armstrong again. He shoots. And it just goes wide. It's a corner ball to Southampton. Corner ball, Southampton. Good defending from Ballard. Why isn't Ruchin on for Burstow? What is going on? Corner ball. We should have made substitutions by now. Maybe Ruchin should be on for Burstow. Burstow, I, I don't understand the thinking behind it. Ball in the penalty box. Oh, that should have been 3-0. Cleared away by Sunderland. Thank you. Thank you, much appreciated. Cleared away by Sunderland. Who was that? Wolves won near. I knew Wolves would win. Bloody hell. Adam, thank you, Adam. Right, Sunderland with the ball. Penalty area, their own penalty area. The manager's accepting our fate. Left-hand side. We want a reactive manager, not a, we want a proactive manager, not a reactive manager, and we're 2-0 down. We're not creating diddly squat. Right-hand side, Sunderland get the ball. We're coming forward now. Ian Campbell, taxi for Speakman and KLD. Get them out of this club. Left-hand side. Ah, I've got Barnsley, oh, fucking Asby Coop and stuffed Conrad Tank. I've lost two pounds. I'm absolutely devastated. Right-hand side, sun and edge of the penalty box, cleared away by... Cleared away. I've had, I've had this, like, funny chest pain here. I don't know what it is. I woke up during the night, went to the toilet, it was like, it's like a, an ache, an ache. Then it goes away all day. I've been for a two mile run, been for a two mile walk. Then all of a sudden, today, all of a sudden, now again, it's aching again here, like around there. I think it might be muscle. Doing a lot of press ups last night, maybe that's what it is. It's a bit sore. Anyway, it's, Suddenly give the ball away to Southampton. Coming forward. Southampton coming through the middle. Chance now. Adams gets the ball to Armstrong on the left hand side. Chance ball in the box. Oh, cleared away. Going to be a corner ball. Corner ball to Southampton. I've sprained the muscle. Yeah, it's going a bit easy, I think. Corner ball. Southampton corner ball. We've created nothing. And it's 53 minutes gone. Why are we making substitutions now? Why have we made so any substitutions? Ball in the box. Cleared away by Sunderland again. Got to bring on Rushen. DJ Dave. No subs. Dressing room bullies, says Paul. <clears throat> it's a Sunderland free kick. Edgeville penalty box. Sunderland players are warming up. I think they're warming up. Here we are. Double substitution. Rushin and a deal coming on. These two should have started. Rushin and a deal coming on. They should have started the game. In my opinion, I would take off Job and Burstow. Take off Job and Burstow. Hey, Southampton now in the penalty box. Oh, Patterson gets the ball. Patterson gets the ball. Adil should have started Davy Jones and so should have Ruchin. It's a muscular, it's pains there when you move. It's now and again. I don't, I mean, I'm not a breath or anything. I don't get a breath. I mean, I say I've been up a big felt today. 
right, right hand side, something driving forward. Probably just the exercises last night. Hey, Southampton, Southern free kick. Right, double subs. I'll, I'll be gutted if they don't bring off Job. And the, I bet he brings off Chris Rigg. I bet he brings off Chris Rigg. Derby winning 1-0, but it's near good. Barnsley getting beat. Here we go, double substitution. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. Never smoked in my life. Bear store coming off. So bear store off. Never smoked in my life. Burst door off, rushing on. He should have started. Should have started. Now, Job. Take off Job. Chris Rigg. There we go. Chris Rigg's coming off. I knew that was happening. Job gets a free pass. So, Job stays on. Michael says, be chest pain. I don't think it's for something, like. Anyway, there we go. What's going to happen now? Southampton. Why are there some subs? I'm going to go to the toilet. Bottom me, right, 2.47 on the live stream, 2.15 like. Here comes Southampton now, driving forward in the penalty box, Southampton coming in the box, chance of 3-0, going to be a corner ball, corner ball Southampton. Ian, get it, Derby 2 up now, yeah, Derby up with Max the Odds, McCoupin's effect, Barnsley, Barnsley effect is... And I should have picked Bolton instead. Why didn't I pick Bolton rather than Barnsley? It was between Barnsley and Bolton. I fucked up. Fuck's sake. 58 minutes gone. It's 2 0. <sighs> Cornerball, Southampton. 252 in the live stream. 215 likes. 216 likes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Ball in the box. A chance to make a 3 0. Terrible corner. Terrible corner. Bolton is losing 2-1. Oh, but uh, they were winning 1-0. Fair enough, fair comment. Either way, I'm fecked, wasn't I? Either way, no good. 261 the live stream. Getting beat 2-0. If I had reversed my ackers, I would have quid in India. Now that's always the same, isn't it? I think I'd be the same. Anyway, it's a goal kick. Goal kick. Better one up. Better go above Sunderland. Better go above Sunderland. Ah, Paul, I didn't know, mate. I didn't know. Anyway. Hey, Sunderland coming forward now. A chance left hand side. Space in the box now for Barr. Oh, Barr for fuck's sake, he's shit, isn't he? Let's face it, Barr is shit. How bad is Barr? Great opportunity in their half. Loads of time, loads of space, and he gives the ball away. He's awful, Barr, isn't he? Oh, for God's sake, man. 
It typifies everything at the moment, just typifies it. 60 minutes gone. Just awful. We've gone. Got rid of all the experience in this side. Susan, not sure. Whenever I speak to King, though. Got my pyjama bottoms on because I've been for a couple of run. A bar shouldn't be like exactly I. But we've we got... Why is Bennett here? Hey, Salanta now. Cleared by Sunderland. Why have we got rid of Bennett here when Bar is starting? Because that Bennett should have been starting over Bar all day long. All right, Sunderland win the ball back. Exactly. Forward Sunderland. It's a bad pass again from Hume, but Hume gets the ball back. Two opportunities now. Hume, a nice chance now in the box. Who's that two, though? Who's the two chance for Sunderland? Oh, cleared by Southampton. Again, drops to Sunderland. Dan Neal. Hold the two one up. Oh, Doug, be a song. I don't know if I can be bothered to sing a song. Ball in the penalty box, cleared away by Southampton. Sunderland trying to win the ball back to do. Chances now. The shoot. It's a goal. Who scored? Mundell. Who scored? That was a good goal. Mundell. What a goal. Get in, lad. Out of the blue. Fantastic shot. 2-1. Cat amongst the pigeons there, isn't it? He wins the ball back. He keeps the ball off Dan Neal. Oh, it's a lovely goal. Lovely goal, Mundell. Edge of the box. Neil. Bit of a deflection, maybe. All counts, though. Sixty-two minutes gone. That was a bit of good. That I enjoyed that. Hull 2-2. Two, two. Let's go for it. Come on, let's wake up. Nice to make those substitutions. That's better from Sunderland. Stoke are beating Preston. 2-1 uh, now. Can we imagine turning this game around? Imagine turning this game on its head. You couldn't imagine it, couldn't you? But I want to. So in, Bar gives the ball away. Carlisle 2-2. Subs have worked a little bit. Is it won't be 5-0 anyway, it won't be 5-0. This Mundell's a trier, isn't he? He's a trier. Throw in to Southampton. Ah, Chef Net, two up. Yeah, the coupon's definitely gone there, I'm afraid. Another free kick to Southampton, free kick to Southampton. After Bournemouth, Mr. Penalty as well. 286 on the live stream. 220 people on the channel. It's like... It's beggar's belief. Yeah, exactly, Sean. It's beggar's belief how we didn't start Rushen and... <clears throat> we didn't start a deal at the start of the game. Jeff says, Doug B, tactics are working. Put them asleep. Here comes something again. Nice ball left. Job. Ball in the penalty box. A chance. Oh, wide of the post. Interesting. It's getting interesting. Mundell in the box again. Bar puts a teasing ball in the box. Oh, need to give the ball away. Southampton again. And Sunderland had a chance again. Southampton are squeaky bums at the moment. They are squeaky bums. Rushen try to get in. I tell you what, they're pissing around at the back, Southampton. They are pissing around. And they give the ball. Hey, Sunderland, come on. They're in the box again. Chances now. Edge of the box. He shoots. Goes wide, Rushen. We've walked over here. We've walked up. A deal. Sleep gives the ball to Rushen. Edge of the penalty box. 
Well, I'll tell you what it is. All of a sudden, since the changes have been made, we've actually woke up. <laughs> Come on, son, and we can get this back into the game. Come on, let's, let's sort these, this team out. Southampton have been terrible. Oh, we give the ball away, though. Too easy. He is Southampton now. The Saints coming forward right hand side. Don't let a goal in now. Just when we got a chance to get back into the game. Edge of the box are going to go for goal here. They're in the penalty box. A chance to shoot and score. He shoots. Patterson gets the ball. Patterson gets the ball. Sheffield tonight, the 2 1. Well, I need Barnsley to score three as well. 291 on the live stream. 2 2 2. Come on, the young lads. Come on. Southern players down. Sunderland players down. Ballard is down. Oh. Ballard hurt himself. Ballard get, goes off. Running around like men possessed. We finally woke up. This is DJ Dave. We wake up. A wake up call. Let's face it. Thing is, <sighs> what happened there? with bad. It was Preston one one with Stoke. We got some. We know we got plenty of time. We got twenty three minutes to go. Quality two one one one. Southern are injury prone. Preston 1 1. Who do we bring on though? Wolves 2 0. They're on fire. Wolves on fire. Styles are coming on. Styles on for Ballard. Does that mean Hume goes to centre back? Hume centre back along with Silt. Styles coming straight on. Going for a run. 2 0. Yelda sent the back. Somebody says Ballard staying on. He's okay. That's good. He's going off at the moment, but he's come back on. Thank God for that. 282 on the live stream. Smash the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Styles is coming on though. But who's Styles coming on for? Bar. Hopefully, he's coming on for Bar. Styles coming on for Bar. We've got 68 minutes. Who's coming off? Ballard's talking to Dodds. Dodds has pushed Ballard away. As if to say, you can come back on. Styles is going back to the substitutes bench. What's happened here? 22 minutes to go plus stoppage time. Good amount of stoppage time, I would have thought. No substitutions. But Styles is coming on for somebody, but I don't know who it is. I'm hoping that's Bar. Right, Ballard gets rid of the ball. Yeah, I think Ballard's knackered, isn't he? I'm watching Ballard now, he's limping. Doesn't look fit, Ballard. Ballard's Rushin's gone down. Styles for Ballard. Yeah, Ballard's off the pitch. He's limping. Ballard's going off. Hiya, Mick Griffiths. Ballard's gone off and Styles is coming on. Who goes to centre back? Is it Yelder? Styles will go to left back. That's right. Styles will probably go left back. Yelled at God centre back. Poor Ballard. Barnes are getting hammered. What a stupid result that was against Lincoln. Lincoln a fucking shit. Lincoln a crap and beating Barnsley. So Barnsley are terrible. Pardon me, French. 
Anyway, Styles goes to left back. Yelder goes to centre back, apparently. That means Yelder's got centre back. Long ball forward. The game's wide open at the moment. The game is wide open. The keeper. Oh, the keeper gives the ball away. No, he doesn't. Cleared away. Here comes Sunderland though. Sunderland. Southampton in defence are really poor. They give the ball away. Sunderland are getting the ball back. Now. Who's this? It's Job. Edge of the box. He shoots. Ho oh, ho! Job makes a mend. He makes a mend. 2-2. Two, two. Fucking hell. What have I witnessed in the second half? 2-2 two, two, Job. He gets the goal. What a goal it is. Thank God for that. He makes amends. He makes a balls in the first half, but he makes amends with a fantastic right foot perler in the top right hand side corner. Who saw that coming? Imagine the odds on Sunderland at half time, 2 0 down. Would have been 100 to 1. What a goal! Brilliant. Absolutely superb from Job, edge of the penalty box. Oh my God. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm over the moon for the lad. I am over the moon for the lad. He does get a lot of criticism, Job. A lot of criticism. But Southampton are so bad at the back. They're so bad. 71 minutes gone. I think half the time they're their own downfall. As I said, he had trust in the tea leaves. <laughs> hey, lad, trust in the tea leaves. Imagine! Rig's gone off. Can you imagine at half time, 2 0 down, the odds on Sunderland? I wish I'd looked. I wish I'd looked. It would have been a massive price. But let's face it, the way they started the game, who would have thought? Brilliant 2-2. Two, two. Can we go on to win this match? It's just unbelievable. And against all it's like it's like Phil Collins said, it's against all odds. Against all odds. What a strike. That's twice he scored two good goals for Job. And he gets a lot of criticism. He does get a lot of criticism. And his confidence must be down after that first half goal that he'd give away. So I'm pleased for the lad, I really am. I'm buzzing. Southampton now, I can't believe it's gone from 2-0 to 2-2. You're as stunned as me. I'm sure you're as stunned as me. Let's have another goal. What the hell? Glim, at end of the day, I'm as surprised as you. Rushin does that though. He may not be an out and out striker, but he puts defenders in pr under pressure. Bursto doesn't. Never start Bursto again. Let just, just never start Bursto again. Never. Let Rushin play for the rest of the season. 300 on the live stream, 233 likes. Sunderland player's gone down, referee says it's fine to punch a Sunderland player. I don't know if you did like but you know what I mean. Play, son of player's gone down. Who's gone down? Is it Mundell? I'm not sure. Looks like Mundell's on the floor. Mundell's down. He's a big lad. He wouldn't go down for Nout. Let's watch it again. I don't know what happened to Mundell there. Three hundred on the live stream. We're putting them under pressure. Yeah, should have been stopped straight away. Right, he's Salampton though. A long ball forward. Good. Is that a free kick to Southampton? Free kick to Southampton. Just inside Summons half. 309 on the live stream. Smash the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're new to the channel, while there's a break in play, hit your 
thumb on the subscribe button. It's free of charge. Much appreciated. Southampton being forced back with a press from Sunderland. A dill come on. Rushen come on. And Styles. And Sunderland, Sunderland are going for it again. Trying to break up the play. And they win the ball back. They win the ball back. Come on, Sunderland. Here we go. Driving forward. Oh, couldn't get the ball. Carlisle, 3 2 down. Sunderland coming again. Sunderland win the ball. Southampton have fallen to bits second half. But we did gift them two goals in the first half. We gifted them two goals in the first half. Keep the pressure up. I like the pressure. Good pressure from Sunderland. It's a throw under, throw under the Saints inside the own half. Or free kick just inside the touchline. Good pressure from Ruchin. He brought his man down, but it's good pressure. Back to their keeper again, for fuck's sake. They are pissing around in defence and Sunderland with a high press. Sunderland with a high press. But Southampton coming forward now. Return. Oh, shit. Here comes Southampton now. Right hand side. In the penalty box. Oh, it's blocked. It's a 3 2. Oh, defence wide open. 3 2, Southampton. Oh, 76 minutes gone. 3 2. Defence was wide open with no Ballard there. Oh, it's blocked by Sunderland, but drops to, drops to a Southampton player. Yelled at. We've got a few minutes of joy, but we injury, we knackered with injuries, aren't we? Let's face it. 3-2. Need a third goal, Sal. Just keep playing, keep pressing, keep pressing. 3 2. Damn it. It was Doug B. It was fun while it was fun while it lasted, Doug B. Definitely fun. 3 2, Southampton. Anyway, here comes Sunderland. Oh, we give the ball away straight away. We give the ball away. It's experience in the side we're lacking. It's a free kick to Sunderland. Southampton win the free kick. Play at the left hand side. Driving towards the penalty box. It's 3 2 to Southampton. 3 2. Unfortunately, we really are lacking now in defence. Possibly if we had Triantos. If we had Triantos on the cards, he could have been, he could have come on. Wrexham 3-1 up. Stephen Fletcher scoring for Wrexham, really. Right hand side, here comes Sunderland. Got 11 minutes to get equaliser again. Can it be three to Peach at the end of the game? Good play from Sunderland there, good play. Coming forward. Nice ball, but Salmon get the ball back to the keeper. The Shields are 1 0 down. Oh, Salmon driving forward now. We're so wide open at the back, it's unbelievable. We're going to play shitty in here. Oh, here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. 4-2, game over. So wide open at the back. So wide open at the back. Kamikaze there, like, absolutely kamikaze in defence. Ah, I just... Poor defending again. Poor defending. Too wide open. 
uh, kamikaze, false hope, false dawn. They might still score five yet. That's game over now, I'm afraid. Oh. oh, a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Four two. Ah, we're just outclassed, aren't we? Let's face it. We haven't got we haven't got the strength and depth or the experience to do anything really. Southampton, Sunderland trying to win the ball back. Do we get a corner ball? Get a corner, corner to Sunderland. It's going to be 60 feet in a row now, I'm afraid. Corner ball to Sunderland. Yeah, Ballard's off now. No, no central defender. We'll let Triantos go for some bizarre reason. <clears throat> ball in the penalty box. Again, was that just saving money? That just saving money? Triantos? You know, he's a, he's a central defender. Ballard off for Styles. We've got, we've got knee defenders at all now, I'm afraid. We've got suit and that's it. I wouldn't have sent I wouldn't have sent Triantos out on loan to be fair. But it is what it is. We can't defend at the moment, can we? Yeah, Doug B, I've lost it. I've lost all kind of I'm past being angry. I can see it coming. We've left ourselves so threadbare. We are really sort of, we're trying to win the ball back. Rushin wins the ball back well. He's, he's having in win the ball back well, Rushin. But then gives the ball away. Get a goal back? I don't think we can. Defendants poor, it is. We're trying, to, we're trying our best, but like I say, we've got no defence. We left ourselves way short in the defensive department. We knew the yellow cards would be coming. Ballard is always subst always, you know, prone to an injury. But we give a bit of a fight. We give a bit of a fight. Four two, five, five minutes to go. If it's Clayton bad sub, Equa would be more of a, of a centre than Styles. <clears throat> Yeah, right there, Gavin, been a poor three months. <clears throat> Sack the board. About another seven minutes. Plus, you never know. <clears throat> Sun on left hand side. Ball forward. Or oh, cleared away. We drag it back then. Ballard goes off and bring on Styles. He's Southampton again. They could. Could. Could get a goal back. Could we get a goal back? Right, Southampton, give the ball away. He's Sonnen now, coming forward. Have a shot, son. Shoots! Ah, oh, straight to keeper. Straight to keeper. Four two. Two nine nine in the live stream. Two hundred forty four. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Thumbs up, much appreciated. Sunning on the halfway line. Coming forward, we've got four minutes to go. Four minutes. Long ball forward. Drops to Sunning door. Keeper gets it. He's Southampton now. Oh, good play from them over the halfway line. Could make it five here. Left hand side. Ball in the penalty box, chance to make it five. Corner ball, Southampton, corner ball. 
Colin have bought Southampton. Stoke win him. That's an important goal for the relegation. Stoke are winning. Stoke two up. That drags us down a little bit now. Doug B, day in the workshop. Yes, Doug B, thank you again for them pens. Absolutely fantastic. In swinging now from Southampton. Middlesbrough are winning. 2 0. Oh, over the top from Southampton. Almost made it five. Almost made it five. North and south. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Got to spend. A lot of Sunderland fans not happy at the moment. I can understand it totally. The season. at the was it, the, it was a quote at the back end of last season. Speakman said, playoffs are not good enough. It's got to go for top two. What an absolute... What absolute nonsense you write there. Sal, we need to point Roy King now. We need somebody in now. We need a head... A, a, we need a head coach in now. Still down in 12th. How many points off relegation? Someone let me know in the comments. How many points off relegation are we now? Pritchard, 1 million, Bath, 2. Gooch, 500,000. He's got a great footballing brain. Eight points. Are we eight? It's nine points. It's nine. Are we still nine points of relegation? I think we see it unless we lose to QPR. I know we've got to get rid, we've got to get rid, Equa's coming on now but it's too late, we've got to get rid of the likes, I only ever listen to com two companies, you and Mac, when you're, I, I thank you very much, thank you very much please Douglas, much appreciated. Sullen threw in down by the corner flag, an opportunity now, three minutes to go, get a goal back now, make a squeaky bum time, will be interesting, will be good, will be interesting, 53 points to be safe says BS. Sunderland now a chance coming forward. We're in the ball. Going to Oh, fuck off, you referee, you absolute twat. Never a free kick. Referee, you can go and fuck yourself. He gets the ball. He fucking wins the ball. Soft fucker. Right. Keep as the ball for Southampton. Millwall, one up against Birmingham. Well, there we go. Tony Moby's still bad, isn't he? He's not in charge in Birmingham at the moment. Sunderland, come on. Let's get a goal back. Clearly won the ball, David Jones, 100%. Right, come on. Ah, oh, goes back to their keeper. We're being let down in the, in the recruitment department for strikers. Kane will build a club, not just a team. It's got to be about eight minutes of stoppage time. I would say at least eight minutes of stoppage time. Sun and free kick inside their half. Sun and free kick inside their half. Get the fucking ball, man. Give me a low card referee, you absolute twat. Fuck off. Yellow card to Southampton player. Right. Right, there we go. So it's a free kick to Sunderland. Normal service resumed. Pardon me, French. Hello, Simmer. Simmer. Right, free kick to Sunderland. It's 4 2. Equa with the free kick. If we get it back now, there's got to be at least 8 to 10 minutes of stoppage time. I would have thought there's a good, consistent amount of stoppage time in this game still to go. Seven minutes. Ah, it's a poor free kick. So seven minutes to stop his times. Not enough. Card of Scott. Bournemouth 2-2. Two, two. Card of scored twice in stoppage time in six minutes. Can we do the same? 
Probably not. <clears throat> Sun and throw in. Inside, deep inside, Southampton's half. Sun and throw in. Left, right hand side, coming forward. Ball in the penalty box. Oh, over the top of everybody. Over the top of everybody. Ball goes back to their keeper. Oh, Sonnen could have won the ball back there. They tried. We're trying to win the ball back. Sonnen, we do win the ball back. into the penalty box. It shoots. Goes straight to the keeper. Shoot. Goes straight to the keeper. That was Yelda. Uh, season's been over for a while, mate. I know, seven minutes, just, just blow the whistle now, you're right there. Derby three up. <clears throat> Four two. QPR game is going to be a really interesting game next week. QPR game, it really is. That'll be some vlog. Some vlog. Barrow won 2 nil. QPR beat Leicester. Sal says Terry. Sun to win the ball back. Got five minutes to score two goals. Can't see it happening. Love your French, Terry. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you, Do Doogie Doogie. Parle vous Francais? La gauche? La toit? There we go. Joe tries to win the ball. Hook Scott to Sunderland. Mundell and Job. I think it's fair to say the Mowbray second has killed the season. It's got to be the biggest mistake we made. And even bigger, sacking Mowbray and not bringing a decent candidate in to replace him. It's biggest belief. It is biggest belief. KLD has to be, KLD has got to sack Speakman. And if KLD has no money, then sell the club. Simple as. We'll do that at the start of the match review. Match review coming up. Here comes Southampton now again. Can they make it five? We scored five against them. Oh, it's gone wide, it's gone wide, it's gone wide. Still 4-2. I think we we I think we've settled with the shape we have at the moment. I think it'll start to kick off in the next few games if we don't win games of football. If we can't beat QPR, I think the shit will hit the fan. I really do. It's gonna be a toxic atmosphere if we do not beat QPR. Sun and free kick. Three minutes to go. Two goals in three minutes. <laughs> right. Sun and coming forward. Ah, it's a poor ball. Poor ball. I would take. I would take Neil Warnick. Now, right now. I'd take him right now over Dodds. There's nothing at all I like about what we're doing at the moment. Well done, Plymouth. Plymouth have scored and it's 1-1 against Blackburn. Blackburn 1, Plymouth 1. Goal kicks Southampton in the last dying seconds. Just get Warnick in now to the end of the season. He'll keep us... Six defeats on the row for Sunderland. I'm not bothered about Warnick leaving at the end of the season. Just bring him in. Get a win against QPR. Job done. For me, that's it. You beat QPR, there's no worries about staying up. I still feel confident we can stay up. Get 
get us safe. Start fresh in the summer. Kill day, sell the club. Cheers, Neil. Thank you for the 251 likes. I mean, in the last minute, the last minute. 100% SFC Dreamers. There was poor, there was poor Sunderland fans. Thank you, Neil. Poor Sunderland fans going all the way down to Southampton to watch this. We just, we just are lacking in strength and depth and bodies. We're too weak in midfield. It's correct. We are correct. End of the day, we, we got ourselves back into the game and then we threw it away again. Palace won. Luton won. Luton scores late in the day. Well done, Luton. McCuffers. Scrape in the bowel, yeah, end of the day, I get it. But who would you rather have, Mick Griffiths? Dodds or Warnick? Who would you rather have to see us through the end of the season? Just give him, get him in and say, end of the season, there you go, Neil. Make it secure. Got to freshen things up a little bit. Got to freshen it up a bit. There we go. It's finished. Southampton 3, Sunderland 2. No, it hasn't. Southampton 4, Sunderland 2. Thanks for watching the live stream. Absolute legends. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you for the match review very shortly where we need to make changes. Big time. Kill Speakman has got to be sacked. Speakman must be sacked right now. We'll see you in a bit. I'm not going to hold anything back on the review.